Christian Slater, a name synonymous with captivating performances and versatile talent, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born on August 18, 1969, in New York City, Slater's passion for acting began at a young age and has since led him to a successful career spanning over four decades. Slater's breakout role came in the 1980s with the television series Miami Vice, where he played a charismatic criminal. This performance catapulted him to stardom and paved the way for future roles in films such as Heather's, True Romance, and Interview with the Vampire. His portrayal of villainous or troubled characters showcased his ability to captivate audiences and deliver powerful performances. Throughout his career, Slater has received critical acclaim and numerous accolades. In 1994, he won a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor in a series, miniseries, or television film for his role in Heidi Chronicles. More recently, Slater has found success on the small screen, earning a Primetime Emmy nomination for his work in the television series Mr. Robot. Slater's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. His ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters has left an enduring legacy. From his early days in Miami Vice to his current role in Dr. Death, Christian Slater's captivating performances continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. Christian Slater is a well-known actor who has been active in the film industry since the 1980s. His career includes many memorable roles in movies like Heather's, True Romance, and Interview with the Vampire. On television, he starred in Mr. Robot, for which he won a Golden Globe. What makes Christian Slater stand out from his contemporaries is his ability to play diverse characters, from charming leading men to villainous bad boys. His charisma and energy on screen have left a lasting impression on audiences. It's hard to choose just one role that defined Christian Slater's career, but many fans might point to Heather's as a breakout performance. In this dark comedy, Slater played a charismatic rebel who teamed up with Winona Ryder to take down a group of popular high school girls. Do you have a favorite Christian Slater role or memory? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about this classic star, so keep watching this video. Christian Slater was born in New York City to parents who were also involved in the entertainment industry. His mother, Mary Jo Slater, was a casting agent, and his father, Michael Hawkins, was an actor. Slater's upbringing was unconventional, as his parents divorced when he was young, and he split his time between New York and Los Angeles. This exposed him to various cultures and experiences, shaping his worldview and artistic perspective. Slater's interest in acting began at an early age. He attended the Professional Children's School in New York City, where he studied drama. His early exposure to the craft was largely influenced by his parents, who introduced him to the world of theater and film. As a child, Slater often accompanied his mother to auditions and set visits, which piqued his curiosity and passion for acting. During his teenage years, Slater landed his first significant acting role in the movie The Legend of Billie Jean. This experience solidified his desire to pursue a career in acting, and he continued to hone his skills in various film and television projects. Slater's early mentors included his mother, who provided him with valuable guidance and support, and actor Sean Penn, who mentored Slater during the filming of The Secret Life of Algernon. Throughout his career, Slater has been influenced by various artists and performers. He has cited actors such as Marlon Brando, James Dean, and Jack Nicholson as inspirations, admiring their ability to embody complex and nuanced characters. Slater's unique acting style is a testament to these influences, as he is known for his versatile portrayals of charismatic and often morally ambiguous characters. Slater's early career was marked by a series of successful film and television appearances, including Heather's, Young Guns 2, True Romance, and Interview with a Vampire. These roles established Slater as a talented and captivating performer, inspiring a generation of aspiring actors and filmmakers. In conclusion, Christian Slater's upbringing and early exposure to the entertainment industry played a significant role in shaping his artistic path. Through the guidance of his parents and mentors, Slater developed a deep appreciation for the craft of acting and was inspired by various artists and performers. Today, Slater's legacy is a talented, and versatile performer continues to resonate with audiences and inspire aspiring actors. 
Christian Slater is an accomplished actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. Born on August 18, 1969, in New York City, Slater began his acting career in the 1980s and quickly gained a reputation for his talent and dedication. Slater's breakout role came in 1990 with the film Young Guns Roman II, where he played the character of Baby Crockett. His performance was widely praised, and it helped establish him as a rising star in Hollywood. Over the next few years, Slater appeared in a number of successful films, including True Romance, Interview with the Vampire, and Broken Arrow. In addition to his work in film, Slater has also enjoyed a successful career in television. He starred in the popular series Breaking In and Mr. Robot, for which he won a Golden Globe Award. Slater has also appeared on stage, earning critical acclaim for his performances in productions such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and The Glass Menagerie. Throughout his career, Slater has been known for his ability to take on a wide range of roles and his dedication to his craft. He has worked with some of the most respected directors and actors in the industry and has earned a reputation as a consummate professional. In conclusion, Christian Slater is a highly respected and accomplished actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. With his talent, dedication, and versatility, he has made a significant contribution to the world of entertainment and continues to be a major force in the industry today. Christian Slater's passion for acting took root at a young age. As a child, he was captivated by the performances he saw on stage and screen. He would often put on shows for his family, using props and costumes to bring his characters to life. Slater's mother, a casting agent, encouraged his interest in acting and helped him land his first professional role at the age of eight. Slater's passion for acting was further fueled during his teenage years. He attended the professional children's school in New York City, where he was able to focus on his craft and learn from experienced actors and directors. Slater's dedication and talent were evident, and he quickly began to land roles in films and television shows. One pivotal experience for Slater was his role in the 1985 film The Legend of Billie Jean. The film was a coming-of-age story about a teenager who becomes an unlikely hero after standing up to bullies. Slater's performance as the rebellious and charismatic boyfriend of the lead character won him critical acclaim and helped to establish him as a rising star in Hollywood. Slater's passion for acting has never waned. He continues to take on challenging roles and push himself as an artist. He is known for his versatility, able to play a wide range of characters with depth and nuance. Slater's contributions to the world of acting are enduring and he is cherished by fans and industry professionals alike. Christian Slater is an actor known for his work in films like Heathers and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. In Heathers, Slater's performance as Jason J.D. Dean was inspired by Jack Nicholson, so much so that Slater penned a letter to Nicholson asking him to watch the film. Slater has one older half-brother, also an actor, named Ryan Slater. In Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Slater played the role of Will Scarlet and even learned and mastered archery after being taught on set by Morgan Freeman. Christian Slater, a well-known actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Despite being born into a family of actors, he struggled financially and had to work hard to make a name for himself. Slater's parents divorced when he was quite young, and he and his mother had to move around frequently, making it difficult for him to settle down and focus on his education or acting career. Additionally, he had to juggle multiple part-time jobs to support himself while pursuing acting, which left him with little time or energy to audition for roles. Despite these obstacles, Slater remained determined to succeed in the acting industry. He began his career in the theater, performing in various off-Broadway productions. However, he found it challenging to break into the film industry due to industry skepticism and a lack of connections. Slater's resilience and determination paid off when he was cast in his breakout role in the 1986 film The Name of the Rose. Despite being relatively unknown at the time, Slater's performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, helping him to establish himself as a talented actor. Slater also faced challenges in his personal life, including struggles with addiction and legal issues. 
However, he continued to work hard and overcome these obstacles, eventually making a successful career for himself in both film and television. Today, Slater is known for his diverse range of roles and his ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. He has inspired many aspiring actors with his resilience, determination, and talent. In summary, Christian Slater faced many challenges in his early career, including financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, he remained determined to succeed and found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles. His resilience and talent have made him a respected and successful actor in the industry. In November 2005, Christian Slater decided to sell his house in Brentwood, California, and return to his native New York. Slater, known for his roles in True Romance and other films, had a falling out with Harvey Weinstein during the production of True Romance. Weinstein believed that Slater was too good looking for the role of Clarence Worley and wanted someone like Steve Buscemi for the part. This led to Weinstein being fired by Warner Brothers, and he subsequently told Quentin Tarantino that they would not be working with Warner Brothers after the film. Slater's personal life has also had its share of challenges. In December 1997, he was sentenced to three months in jail and 36 months probation for assaulting his girlfriend Michelle Jonas and a police officer, as well as cocaine abuse. Slater served 59 days in a private Los Angeles jail in Laverne, California. Despite these setbacks, Slater has continued to act in both film and television. His career, which spans over three decades, is a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. Christian Slater's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased his talent and versatility as an actor. In the 1980s, Slater's role in the film, The Name of the Rose, gained positive reviews from critics, marking his first significant step towards recognition in the film industry. Later, Slater's performance in the 1990 film Young Guns too earned him an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Supporting Male. His portrayal of the character William Bonney was well received and considered a turning point in his career. However, Slater's breakthrough role that truly catapulted him to stardom was in the 1993 film True Romance. His performance as Clifford Worley received critical acclaim and established him as a leading actor in Hollywood. Quentin Tarantino, the film's writer, praised Slater's performance, stating that he nailed the character. Slater's work in the 1996 film Broken Arrow further cemented his status as a leading man in action movies. His performance was highly regarded, and he was nominated for the Blockbuster Entertainment Award for Favorite Actor in an Action Adventure Film. Throughout his career, Slater has continued to deliver strong performances in various projects, including television shows such as Mr. Robot, for which he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Series, Miniseries, or Television Film. Slater's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, and his contributions continue to resonate with audiences to this day. Christian Slater played the role of Clarence Worley in True Romance, expressing his excitement about his friend auditioning for T.J. Hooker, saying how cool it would be to act alongside Captain Kirk. Slater had a minor appearance in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, but instead of Captain Kirk, he shared his lines with Captain Sulu. Slater and actress Samantha Mathis collaborated in Pump Up the Volume, where they portrayed characters with undeniable on-screen chemistry. This movie marked the first of their three film projects together, which also included Broken Arrow and Ferngully The Last Rainforest. Interestingly, Slater and Mathis were in a romantic relationship during the filming of Pump Up the Volume, which likely contributed to their authentic on-screen connection. Christian Slater is known for his unique approach to acting, often portraying complex and intense characters. He has a knack for fully immersing himself in a role, making the audience believe in the reality of his character. Slater's creative process is deeply personal and introspective, often drawing from his own experiences and emotions to bring depth to his performances. His style is characterized by a raw, unfiltered energy that is both captivating and at times unpredictable. Slater is not afraid to take risks and push boundaries in his work, often leading to memorable and impactful performances. Slater's personal worldview and experiences are often reflected in his work, with many of his characters dealing with issues of morality, identity, and power. 
His ability to tap into the complexities of the human psyche has made him a standout in the industry and has earned him a loyal following. In summary, Christian Slater's unique artistic vision and process are characterized by his raw, unfiltered energy and his ability to draw from his own experiences to bring depth to his performances. His work often explores complex themes and issues, making for captivating and thought-provoking viewing. Christian Slater was once considered for the role of Richard in the comedy film Tommy Boy. In 1991, he wore the same trousers that William Shatner had worn in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan while filming Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. Slater noticed the name label still inside them and later joked about being proud to step into Shatner's pants. Moving on to more recent news, Slater became a father for the second time when his wife, Brittany Lopez, gave birth to their daughter in August 2019. The couple has chosen not to reveal the child's name publicly. Christian Slater is a highly respected actor, known for his work in film, television, and theater. With a career spanning over three decades, Slater has made significant contributions to the industry and has influenced trends, techniques, and storytelling in various ways. Slater is known for his versatile acting style and ability to portray complex characters. According to industry expert Peter Travers, Christian Slater has a rare gift for combining intensity and charm, making him one of the most compelling actors of his generation. One of Slater's most notable roles was in the 1990 film Young Guns Roman II, where he played the character of Billy the Kid. His performance in this film helped to solidify his status as a leading man and brought a new level of attention to the Western genre. Slater has also been praised for his work in television. His role as Mr. Robot in the USA Network series of the same name earned him critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award. The show's creator, Sam Esmail, has said that Slater's performance was instrumental in bringing the character of Mr. Robot to life. In addition to his acting abilities, Slater is also known for his influence on fashion and style. With his signature leather jackets and edgy haircuts, Slater has been a style icon for many young people. Slater's contributions to the industry have been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He continues to be an inspiration for aspiring actors and a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In summary, Christian Slater is a highly influential actor who has made significant contributions to the film, television, and theater industries. He is known for his versatile acting style, his ability to portray complex characters, and his influence on fashion and style. Slater's work has been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, and he continues to be an inspiration for aspiring actors and a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Christian Slater played the role of Mulloy in Interview with the Vampire the Vampire Chronicles, stepping in for River Phoenix after his untimely death. Interestingly, Phoenix's girlfriend at the time was Samantha Mathis, who had previously dated Slater. Four cast members from this film, including Slater, have starred in movies directed by Barry Levinson, Tom Cruise in Rain Man, Brad Pitt in Sleepers, Christian Slater in Jimmy Hollywood, and Kirsten Dunst in Wag the Dog. In addition to his work in Interview with a Vampire, Slater also had a brief appearance in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country as a communications officer for Excelsior. He humorously framed his 750 paycheck for this minor role which would be equivalent to approximately 1-452-41 in 2021. Slater's dedication to his craft and memorable performances have solidified his place in the film industry. Christian Slater, the talented actor, is known for his work in movies and television. But what about his life outside of the spotlight? Slater values spending time with his family and is a dedicated father to his two children. He enjoys reading, and is an avid fan of comic books and science fiction. Slater's personal interests have influenced his work as an actor. He has played several roles in science fiction films and television shows such as The Adjustment Bureau and Mr. Robot. Slater has also lent his voice to various animated superhero projects, including Robotech and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In addition to his professional pursuits, Slater is passionate about philanthropy. He has supported various charitable organizations over the years, including the Red Cross and the Epilepsy Foundation. Slater has a personal connection to the latter organization as he has lived with epilepsy since childhood. 
He has used his platform as a celebrity to raise awareness about the condition and to help advocate for those who also live with it. Slater's values and interests have shaped his career and his life outside of it. He is not only a talented actor, but also a devoted father and a passionate advocate for important causes. At the age of nine, Christian Slater made his theater debut in the musical The Music Man. Slater's film career includes stepping in as Daniel Mulloy in an interview with the vampire after River Phoenix's death. Slater donated his $250,000 salary to two of Phoenix's favorite charities. In Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, Slater, who was already well known, had a cameo as the Excelsior Communications Officer. Notably, Whoopi Goldberg, known for her role on Star Trek The Next Generation, expressed interest in playing a Klingon princess in the film. However, Leonard Nimoy felt it would be too distracting, and Christian Slater's smaller role remained. Christian Slater has established a strong legacy in the film and television industry, known for his memorable roles and undeniable talent. Throughout his career, he has shown his versatility in various genres, from crime dramas to comedies, capturing audiences with his charisma and depth. When asked about his future contributions, Slater expresses excitement about exploring new projects and pushing his boundaries as an actor. He encourages aspiring professionals in his field to stay true to their passion and continuously hone their craft. Slater's advice for those looking to make their mark in the industry is to remain persistent and open to learning. According to him, it's important to be patient and keep working on your skills. There will always be setbacks and rejections, but it's crucial to keep going and stay focused on your goals. He also emphasizes the importance of collaboration and building a strong support system. Slater shares, surround yourself with people who inspire you and challenge you to be better. You never know when a valuable connection or opportunity will arise. In essence, Christian Slater's legacy and outlook on the industry offer a roadmap for aspiring professionals to create a successful and fulfilling career. By staying committed, continuously improving, and maintaining a strong network, one can leave a lasting impact on the world of film and television. Christian Slater, known for his acting roles, attended the Russian premiere of Bobby in Moscow at the Oktyabr Theater in April 2007 and the premiere in Berlin, Germany at the Sinistar Movie Theater in March 27. Slater's ancestry is diverse, with German, Irish, English, Welsh, and small amounts of Dutch and Scottish heritage. His acting career has continued to flourish, with his roots playing a significant role in his success. Christian Slater's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of inspiring. From his early days on television to his successful film career, Slater has always brought intensity and charisma to his roles. His passion for acting is evident in every performance, making him a beloved figure among audiences. Slater has never shied away from taking on challenging characters, constantly pushing himself as an artist. He has demonstrated his versatility by excelling in a wide range of genres, from drama to action to comedy. His innovative approach to his craft has left an indelible mark on the industry, influencing countless other actors. Throughout his career, Slater has consistently delivered memorable performances that have resonated with audiences. His impact has transcended generations, with both older and younger viewers finding value in his work. Despite facing numerous obstacles and setbacks, Slater has persevered, proving that hard work and determination can lead to great success. In the end, Christian Slater's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression is a testament to the impact that one person can have on the world. May we all be inspired to pursue our passions with the same intensity and dedication as Christian Slater. Christian Slater, known for his role in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country as Excelsior Communications Officer, had the unique experience of wearing trousers made for William Shatner in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. He humorously referred to it as an honor to get into Shatner's pants during a BBC interview. In August 27, Slater attended the 60th Locarno International Film Festival in Switzerland, further solidifying his presence in the film industry. However, Slater's career was not without controversy. 
In August 1997, he was arrested by the Los Angeles police and charged with three counts of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of battery, which led to a period of turmoil in his professional and personal life. Christian Slater played the role of Jason J. D. Dean in the 1988 black comedy film Heathers. During the filming and promotion of this movie, Slater dated his co-star Winona Ryder. In 1994, Slater took on the part of Mulloy in an interview with The Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, which received six MTV Movie Awards nominations. The film won in the categories of Best Male Performance for Brad Pitt, Best Breakthrough Performance for Kirsten Dunst, and Most Desirable Male for Pitt. As a teenager, Slater starred in the musical Merlin, one of the most expensive and notorious flops in Broadway history. The show, which featured Doug Henning as the legendary sorcerer, also starred Cheetah Rivera, Nathan Lane, and Slater, who played both young Merlin and Arthur. Despite its failure, Merlin remains a notable part of Slater's early career. Christian Slater has appeared in several horror films, including Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, where he played Mulloy. This film was his third horror movie, preceded by Twisted in 1986 and Tales from the Dark Side, the movie in 1990. Following Interview with the Vampire, he starred in Alone in the Dark in 2005, Hollow Man 2 in 26, and Playback in 2. Christian Slater, known for his role in Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, had an interesting experience during the filming of The Name of the Rose. After being cast as It's So of Milk, he read with actress Valentina Vargas for the role of the girl. So smitten was Slater with the 22-year-old Vargas that he asked the director, Jean Jacques Anoud, to only consider her for the part. Anoud found this amusing and obliged. Slater's godfather was the late soap actor, Michael Zaslow. In interview with the vampire, Slater, who played Daniel Molloy, shared a notable connection with his character. Louis, portrayed by Brad Pitt, says that he was turned into a vampire at the age of 24 in 187 or 91, making him younger than Daniel Molloy, who was also 24 during filming. These behind the scenes facts show a unique aspect of Slater's personality and demonstrate the connection he had with his roles. Christian Slater shares his birthday with actor Edward Norton, both of them born on August 18, 1969. Slater is known for his role as Mulloy in Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, where he starred alongside Brad Pitt. The previous year, they had worked together in True Romance. In the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Slater played the character of Will Scarlet. One notable moment in the movie is when Slater improvised the line, Fuck me. He cleared it after Robin and Azim successfully cleared the castle wall. Despite its historical inaccuracy, the director, Kevin Reynolds, decided to keep it in the film due to its humor. In 2001, Christian Slater became a father for the first time when his daughter, Eliana Sophia, was born. Years later, on December 3, 2013, Slater married his girlfriend of three years, Brittany Lopez, in Coral Gables, Florida. Slater made his London stage debut as Randall P. McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in August 24. Unfortunately, his debut was delayed due to a case of chickenpox. However, Slater's performance was well received and he received a standing ovation on his first night performing. Christian Slater is known for his role as Will Scarlet in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. In the film's original UK release, his line of CK me, they made it was changed to blimey, they cleared it to obtain a family-friendly PG certificate. The profanity was later restored in the DVD release and is shown in television showings past 9 p.m. Slater has also worked with both leads of Face Off, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in Broken Arrow and Wind Talkers, respectively. All three films were directed by John Woo. Additionally, Slater is good friends with actress Sandra Bernhardt. Despite their busy schedules, the two have maintained a close friendship over the years. Overall, Christian Slater has had an accomplished career in film and television, working with notable actors and directors, and maintaining close friendships in the industry. In 1998, Christian Slater served a three-month jail sentence, but was released after 59 days for good behavior. Slater has shared the screen with notable actors, including Kevin Costner in 3,000 Miles to Graceland and Morgan Freeman in Hard Rain. 
One of Slater's notable roles was as Will Scarlet in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. His career has seen him work with a variety of talented actors and filmmakers, contributing to a body of work that has made an impact in the world of film. Christian Slater is known for his role as Jason J.D. Dean in the movie Heathers. During filming, Slater was dating his co-star Kim Walker, who played Heather Chandler. However, Slater ended their relationship to date Winona Ryder, who played Veronica Sawyer. Ryder, however, does not recall dating Slater. Slater was born to Mary Jo Slater and Michael Hawkins. He later starred as Nick Woods in the movie The Wizard. Both Slater and his co-star Bo Bridges have admitted to having little to no interest in video games before filming. They started playing during filming and eventually became fans. Christian Slater has expressed his admiration for the actor Jack Nicholson, particularly enjoying his performances in The Witches of Eastwick and The Shining. Slater's own film roles often involve hand injuries and heathers. His character loses a finger. In Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, he gets an arrow through his palm and an untamed heart. Both of his hands bleed after he carries a spruce tree. Additionally, Slater holds a green belt in Kempo Karate, showcasing his physical prowess outside of acting. These details offer a glimpse into Slater's interests and experiences, both on and off the screen. In May 2008, Christian Slater attended the 61st Annual Cannes Film Festival in France, rubbing shoulders with the film industry's elite. Slater is well known for his role as Clarence Worley in True Romance, where he donned a pair of signature sunglasses that later appeared in Kill Bill Law 1. Uma Thurman's character, wearing them to shield her eyes from harsh hospital lights, took them from Buck after waking from a coma. Christian Slater's personal life has also been punctuated by significant relationships. William Henry Tarrant, Slater's mother's third husband, made Slater a stepson. Tarrant fathered two children, Joshua and Emily, making Slater their stepbrother. The family bonded over shared experiences and the love for acting away from the spotlight. Slater's career and personal life have intersected in interesting ways, creating a complex and engaging narrative. His career achievements, such as his iconic roles and unique sense of style, continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Meanwhile, his family life, though often out of the public eye, has played an essential part in shaping him into the person he is today. Slater remains a fixture in the film industry, with a lasting impact on cinema and popular culture. Christian Slater is an accomplished actor, known for his work in films such as Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, where he played Will Scarlet. Slater shared the screen with the legendary Sir Sean Connery in The Name of the Rose back in 1986, demonstrating his versatility in the industry. In 26, Slater attended the 63rd International Venice Film Festival, showcasing his commitment to the world of cinema. A year later, in 27, he graced the duo grand opening at Four Seasons Maui in Hawaii, highlighting his presence and popularity in the industry. Throughout his career, Slater has established himself as a respected and talented actor, delivering captivating performances in various roles. His work continues to resonate with audiences and leave a lasting impact, transcending the boundaries of cinema and solidifying his place in the annals of film history. In December 1989, Christian Slater was arrested in West Hollywood, California, for leading sheriff's deputies on a car chase crashing into a telephone pole, assaulting a police officer, and driving with a suspended license. Later, in 1993, Slater starred in the movie True Romance alongside Patricia Arquette, where they shared an intimate and memorable love scene. Their chemistry was undeniable, with Slater admitting to falling in love with his co-stars and describing their love scene as really special. On April 6, 1999, Slater became a father when his son, Jaden Christopher Haddon Slater, was born to him and his girlfriend, Ryan Haddon. Christian Slater took on the role of Mark Hunter in the film Pump Up the Volume, despite becoming physically ill several times due to the required cigarette smoking. Slater's mother, Mary Jo Slater, worked as the casting director in four of his films, including Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, Murder in the First, The Contender, and who is Cletty's Taub? In the film Heathers, Slater beat out Brad Pitt for the part of Jason J.D. Dean. Interestingly, Pitt went on to play another character named J.D. in Thelma and Louise. Christian Slater brought to life the character of Jason J.D. Dean in the movie Heathers, 
a role initially sought after by Brad Pitt, who was ultimately considered too nice for the part. Interestingly, Brad Pitt and Christian Slater would later collaborate in an interview with The Vampire and True Romance. In The Wizard, Christian Slater portrayed Nick Woods, son of Bo Bridges. This came a year after he had played the son of Bo's brother, Jeff Bridges, in Tucker the Man and His Dream. Moving on to interview with the vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, Slater took on the role of Mouloy, a character simply named the boy in the novel, who interviews the vampire Louis de Pointe du Lac. In the film, Mouloy is older than the character described in the book, adding another layer to Christian Slater's diverse portfolio. In 1994, Christian Slater, known for his role as Mouloy in Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, had his shooting schedule for murder in the first adjusted to accommodate his filming commitment. That same year, Slater was arrested at New York's John F. Kennedy Airport and charged with criminal possession of a weapon. He had packed a handgun, which led to his arrest. As part of a plea agreement in early 1995, Slater was required to spend three days working with homeless children. Slater has expressed his fondness for certain television series, including Boston Legal and Entourage. Despite his busy acting schedule and personal challenges, Slater continues to be a significant figure in the entertainment industry, drawing attention and interest from audiences of all ages. His dedication to his craft and ability to adapt to new roles and projects have solidified his position as a respected actor in the industry. Christian Slater and Helen Slater are not related, despite playing siblings in The Legend of Billie Jean. After River Phoenix's death, Slater took on the roles of the interviewer in Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, and Eric Draven in The Crow, the latter of which was initially intended for Phoenix. Brandon Lee stepped in for The Crow, but tragically died on set. In Interview with the Vampire, Stephen Dorff was considered for the role of Daniel Mulloy, but Slater was cast instead. Coincidentally, both Slater and Dorff later co-starred in Alone in the Dark. In 26, Christian Slater was considered for a Razzie Award in the Worst Actor category for his performances in Alone in the Dark and Mindhunters. Although he didn't receive a nomination, this would have been his first recognition in 14 years, having been previously nominated for Worst Supporting Actor in 1992 for Mobsters and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Slater has expressed his appreciation for music, particularly Elvis Presley's song A Little Less Conversation. A Star Trek enthusiast, Slater was cast as the Excelsior Communications Officer in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. His mother, Mary Jo Slater, served as the casting director for the film and knew of her son's admiration for the franchise. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into Slater's personal interests and career, showcasing him as a talented actor and fan of popular culture. Christian Slater's eyebrows error growing naturally, contrary to the long-standing rumor. Slater had joked about shaving them off for a Halloween costume in an early interview, which was misconstrued as fact. Apart from his film roles, Slater has an extensive background in theater, with Broadway credits including Macbeth, David Copperfield, and Merlin, in addition to numerous other venues. During the filming of True Romance, Christian Slater and director Tony Scott had different interpretations of Slater's character, Clarence Worley. Scott advised Slater to watch Taxi Driver to better understand the role, as Slater recounted in an interview. In summary, Christian Slater has had a successful career in both film and theater, despite some misconceptions about his appearance. He continues to be active in the industry and has developed a strong reputation for his diverse acting roles. Christian Slater was recognized by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history, highlighting his appeal and influence in the industry. In the movie Pump Up the Volume, Slater's character, Mark Hunter, did not drive due to the actor's driver's license suspensions. This change in the script, where Mark is seen walking or riding in a jeep during the climactic scene, brought a sense of authenticity to the role. Growing up, Slater honed his acting skills at the Dalton School and the professional children's school, setting the foundation for his successful career. These experiences helped shape his craft and solidify his place as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Let's take a moment to talk about Christian Slater, an accomplished actor who has been captivating audiences for decades. 
With a career that spans TV and film, Slater has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Slater first gained attention in the 1980s with his roles in The Name of the Rose in Heathers, and he has since appeared in numerous fan-favorite films such as True Romance, Interview with the Vampire, and Broken Arrow. His work in television has been equally impressive, including his starring role in the hit series Mr. Robot, for which he won a Golden Globe. Slater's ability to take on a wide variety of roles has made him a beloved figure in the entertainment world. From action heroes to dramatic leads and even comedic turns, he has consistently delivered standout performances that have resonated with audiences. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on Christian Slater's work and legacy. What are some of your favorite roles he has played? How has he impacted your life or the entertainment industry as a whole? If you enjoyed this reflection on Slater's career, Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create thoughtful and engaging content for you to enjoy. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below.